Welcome back guys to the channel. What we're doing out here today is we're going to kind of go through a little bit of what tackle I have accumulated over this time of fishing. As you can see, probably the tail lights of my car back there, I have got major situation going on in there. I have bought some Fresh X Armor All junk that sprays in your car because boys if y'all have ever used any of that garlic dip that you dip like tails and stuff in the green stuff if that stuff happens to spill in your car it's a real nightmare so hopefully this stuff will neutralize the odor and get it out of there i gotta let the car run for 15 minutes with that stuff in there it's a crazy mess but what we're going to do is kind of go over not go over but kind of show you some of the junk that I use to fish with and it's nothing fancy nothing special uh, it's just a bunch of junk and we're out here in the garage trying to clean it up I had a bunch of clutter in the back of my trunk of my car it's just a mess so I'm trying to organize it a little bit better I'm not the best at it but we're going to try to get at it and uh, organize a bunch of junk and we'll show you what we got car still rolling in the background there uh what we're going to kind of do first is kind of go over the rod and reel combos that i use and i've used a bunch of these for numerous years and uh you can see the clutter like i said i'm not real organized this is some trash and junk that i've got out of the car some more junk over here but the uh the first rod and reel setup is a just a black max combo from your local Walmart. I don't know if they still sell these things or not, but it's a Black Max reel, Black Max rod, and it is, as you see here, a seven foot medium heavy. It's kind of hard to see that. Uh, let's see here. You can use a three eighths, a three fourth ounce lure, 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 and a 10 to 20 pound line on this bad boy. And I'm assuming that's the part number or whatever there that you, you want to buy. Or maybe this this is probably more like it. BK MAX. So Black Max C701MH. That's what that one is. This is actually the rod and reel combo that I bought my wife. Uh, you can see I'm throwing a jig on it there. This is monofilament line. I can't remember what size it is. A lot of this stuff I'm going to be changing out. I haven't changed it out none this year uh, since last year, but that's what I'm throwing a jig on. 24 ton junk. Don't know what all that means. So some of you rod and reel gurus might know what that means, but not me. All I know is uh, we're using this fine Harbor Freight cherry picker as a prop for them right now. Next one we're going to look at is the Abu Garcia Revo. Let me get it around here where you can see it without breaking my rod. Revo S. There you go. This is that old, old, old Revo S. Left hand retrieve, and it's on a Signature Series Lose Speed Stick. And this is in a 7 foot medium heavy also. And that says right there, HP70MHC. I don't know if that's the deal for this or not, but line is 10 to 20 pound. And uh, lure weight is 1 4th to 7 8th ounce for this rod. But like I said, it is a lose. I got a couple lose rods. This one uh, I replaced Abu Garcia rod that I broke and replaced it with this lose and it has been a real good rod just it's a walmart rod also next up is a black max rod and i've had this rod for a long time uh you can see there i customized with a good old monster that used to be green by the way and now it's faded really bad this rod i've had for a very very long time and what's on it is a Pro Max. I switched it up. Seven to one Pro Max. Seven one to one gear ratio. Uh, Walmart buy. That's why it's right hand retrieve. I'm more of a left handed guy. Uh, I'm right handed, but I fish left handed. If that makes any sense. But this is the same as the other one. Same seven foot medium heavy. Uh, I'm not real versatile on the different 
rod, lance, and power and all that junk. But uh, going back to the lose, what I got on it is look at this little fancy thing. This was a swim jig, and the band broke on the skirt, so we put a swim bait on her, and she worked pretty good. I caught a bass on it the other night, which I didn't video it because I'm crazy like that. Now, going on over to the John Deere here, we have a really old Veritas 30 ton graphite v VRC 70. It's a seven foot medium. So there we go from the, the all the medium heavies over there to this medium. And the uh, line is, or sorry, lure is one fourth the five eighths ounce lure and eight to 17 pound line. And I have one of the newer Abu Garcia Revo S 73 to 1 left hand junk. That's the junkiest Revo I've had so far with gear stripping in it. This one's one stripped already, sent it back, got this one, done the same thing, still cranking on it. Got this spinner bait, curly tail rig thing on it here. You know, I just throw some junk together. Hey, there's my car alarm. So we're gonna go cut my car off. Yeah, 15 minutes. We're gonna cut it off, then we'll get back and show you my spinning reel and this little doomahickey. All right, we are back. And the next thing up is the spinning reel combo that I've had for a very long time also. This is the Veritas again, 30 ton graphite. This is a seven foot medium heavy spinning rod and reel combo. Uh, well, it's not a combo, but I put it together. It looks pretty nice. One fourth to three fourth ounce lower and eight to 14 pound line. VRS 70 on the rod. It's a pretty old rod. I, they got like probably two different newer rods out uh, from this, uh, if that makes any sense. And this is a Revo S30. I don't know if y'all can even. Yeah, S30. It's about wore off. Revo. And it's a uh, 5 8 to 1 spinning reel. Left hand retrieve. You can't change these. You got to order them left or right. You can't change them from side to side, I don't believe. But that's my spinning reel combo. And uh, pretty much the only one that I use. Rest of them is bait caster, as you see. Uh, monofilament, monofilament. This one here with the sock on it is the braid monofilament, monofilament. Now, we get over here to this. I know some of you guys are probably freaking out because I got this sitting on my Camaro, but. Uh, it's it's just a car lose rod reel combo that my wife got me a year ago or so the uh, ts 750 or ts 75 i think that's what it says there yep it's a lose uh 5 to 1 maybe real ratio on that thing and you can change this one left or right i got it on left and it's the, uh, I know it's upside down, but it's the Telespeed. It pulls out. Pretty nifty little creek rod, if I do say so myself. This is the Black Max reel that was on that one combo with the sock on it. This is what come on the combo when I bought it, and it's odor and dirt. I don't know if that's a year on that or not, but it, oh, let me turn it upside down here. Zero zero one twelve AK is what that says. That's not a year because I didn't have this in two thousand. But anyway, six four to one on the Black Max. I think it's the same on that Black Max. That Revo, the white Revo here, going back to it. Is a six four to one on that Revo, just to kind of give you the gear ratios. Uh, the white one here I bought to make it a little bit faster, and it, it, it sucks. It's jacked up. But I'll show you a little bit of the, uh, I know I'm just jumping back and forth, but I'm just kind of showing you guys what I use. And there goes my spinning reel. Uh, I've been kind of testing this junk out. You can see there, Trilene, Berkeley. But most of the time I use spider wire, and uh, I'm not sponsored by none of these companies this is just what i buy at walmart and use 
Uh, well, the white rods, I think I bought at Dick's or Dunham's one. I can't remember. They was on sale, and I had a coupon. So, hey, got to do that coupon life when, you, when you're poor. Spider wire fluoro, uh, I ain't used much of that. 12 pounds. I'm not a real good fluorocarbon guy. This is Easy Mono Spider Wire, 12 pound. Pretty good stuff. This here, the braid. I did use Spider Wire braid, as you can see here. Spider Wire Stealth braid in 65 pound. A little, ex little extreme. It's, it's not bad stuff, but this was a little bit cheaper. Uh, still 65 pound you know I like you know I want to pull like the Titanic up out of the friggin water if I have to but this here is power pro micro filament braided line and that's what I have on that uh, the black max pro max combo thing over there with the rod sock on it that's what I have on that right now and it seems to be pretty daggum good now the Trilene, the Berkley, the 12 pound here, I think I have it actually on that spinning reel, but there ain't much left on it. So I'm gonna be, be replacing that. And then that is in clear, and this is in fluorescent clear blue. And I have this 17 pound on that white Revo on the lose deal. And the other ones, I believe this one and that one, I have the, uh, 16 pound spider wire 12 pound on uh, not really fishing real heavy other than the braid but now we'll get into well wait a minute over here on the junk wall not junk wall i have this little doodad here and that is the abu garcia baboon ice rod and it is a cute little feller Five two to one gear ratio. I don't know if you can see that. Medium, you can't even see that is so little, but 29 inch medium four to eight pound line, and it is uh VR129M for the number. And it's just a cute little feller. We'll be breaking that back out. Look at that little stub on that sucker. But what I have on it, uh line wise, is let me go over here to this pile of garbage. The Trilene, eight pound baby, extra tough, super strong, super strong. Anyway, that's enough of that. But that's what I have on that little dude. Now, kind of going into this, this is my uh, top water, some of my top water. This is more of my hard plastic top water baits. And uh, I had it all, yeah, come, come on now you. All messed up there a while back, but it's just like whopper ploppers, whopper ploppers, and frogs. I know they. I know I said hard bait, but these frogs are got the little blades on. Check these out. Ba boom, huh? I ain't never caught jack off of them. I bought the, some of these off a of buddy. I, I know. Uh, more whopper ploppers. Uh, see here, whopper plopper, uh, heading. Uh, what do you call that? What do you call that? Uh, spook. Yeah. There she is. Head and spook. That's a head and torpedo. Baby torpedo. Really nice top water stuff. I like all this junk in here. But that's the uh, top waters. I know they're super expensive. And I did not buy these at full price. Because I had a buddy that needed some stuff. Needed some money. And I picked some of these uh, whopper ploppers up pretty daggum cheap and it come in this oh water tight box right there uh, my scale you've seen that little crawl yum crawl bug kit pretty nice little kit you can buy that at Walmart too come on Walmart sponsor me. Uh, just a bunch of random junk some hooks and whatnot now going over here I had a bunch of junk kind of scattered out you see a Guggen bait laying here, Guggen bait laying down there. It's just, I got junk scattered everywhere. Buzz bait, VMC stoppers for your uh, for punching grass and junk. Uh, just jigs laying everywhere. This whole box 
as you can see, is plastics. They got some Rage Swimmers, got some Kitex, got some Rage Tail Crawls. This is just a whole big bunch of soft plastic junk. Z Man uh, Ned Rig Baits. That's one whole pail of that stuff. Then you go over here, you got your Z Man, your original Chatterbait. Uh, I don't know if that's Z-Man or not. I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Chatterbaits, this beef jerky, some random bug. That's that's real. That's a real bug. Jigs, more chatterbaits, some little small ones. Small ones. Googan bait. Swim bait. Uh, these hooks here I haven't used yet. They look pretty daggum tasty. I got these at Kmart. Uh, Kmart there's actually a Kmart still in Kentucky uh, around where I'm at so you might not have a Kmart uh, just a big pile of swim jigs but oh hello how you doing there we go another big pile of soft plastics boys and I am not stingy or nothing like that crap so if you come up to me see me fishing you need some junk we'll give you some junk Got some Kitex, a bunch of Kitex in here. Uh, these are all swim baits about right here. Then this is regular worms, you know, like your Gary Yamamoto's, your Yum Dingers, huh? Yum Dingers. Got some Zoom Daggum Lizards in here. Africa Special. Hmm, all right. These are more worms. These are Jig Chunks. Jig Chunks. See there? Got that road on there. Got zoom, mostly zoom in there. Go back here, you got your Guggen baits, got a few of those dillios, and a crap ton of Z-Man Ned Rig stuff. And then in the very back, got your zoom lizards. You always gotta have zoom lizards. But that's that. Then uh, here's just kind of a bunch of junk. Z-Man chatterbait. This little dillio. Another jig, gotta have jigs. Another spinner bait. I got a whole wall of spinner baits over there. Uh, VMC wide gap hooks. Heavy duty flipping hooks, VMC. A bunch of random junk. Gotta have this for the. Oh, look at there. Got a crank bait on it. Gotta have this for the wacky rig life. Mm hmm. This video is gonna be way too long. Uh, see here, I bought some of this stuff here the other day. I have to go to Walmart, as you can tell. Strike King. Tour Grey, baby. We going on that tour. And this is a slither rig. Got tungsten on it. Yeah. Not sure what that does. But we'll figure it out. Some more worms. Some smoke pearl lamb. Never seen that junk. Just throw it, just... Throw it on the car. PB and J, that's my favorite Ned rig around these parts. Some crawls, some small worms in uh, morning, morning dawn. Let's see what else we got down this junk hole. Here we go. If y'all seen the video where I done the redneck drop shot thing, I finally found and got some drop shot weights, two different sizes, three sixteenths right here. Here's one fourth ounce. These little dudes are one sixteenth ounce bullet weights. Look how little those little fellows are. Would you just look at them? Just look at them. Got some of those because I was running low on bullet weights because I keep losing everything because, you know, I'm professional. Another one of those slither rigs. Strike King. Black and blue. I think that's for punching grass and stuff. I ain't sure. We'll figure it out. Wacky worm hooks. Laser sharp. See, I ain't just a VMC, dude. Some more bullet weights. Huh? Look at there. Got all three different sizes. You never know what kind of situation you'll be in. Some more. Look at our Elder's Magic, baby. Four-inch yum dingers. I uh, got another one of those. Got some new car trees. You know, you hook these on, throw them out there. You're guaranteed to catch a big bass. Got to have those new car scent only, though. You got to have the new car scent. Got a uh, 3 8 ounce Strike King swim jig. That's a really good color for around where I'm at. It is 
Chinese, whatever. There you go, made in Costa Rica. Some more Kitex, and this is Bluegill Flash. Didn't have none of those, so I picked some of those colors up. Some more swim baits, zooms. Swim bait, zoom, zoom, shark, little shark pepper, fat Alberts, super value. Had to pick some of those up for some small mouthing down in the river. We'll be doing that. Got some more Berkeley Trilene 12 because I couldn't find this whole thing the other day. So I picked that up. That's everything in the Walmart bags. Boom! There you go, boys. Just kind of some of the small things that I fish with. Some of the stuff that I fish with there, I'm not biased, I fish with everything. Anything that kind of catches my eye, I fish with. I got a bunch of, I'm not getting in the car right now because I just bombed it. But in there, I got my regular tackle bag and it's got some crankbaits, uh, more jigs. I got like a whole tub of jigs, crankbaits, kind of real high dollar junk what do they call them i don't know we loving each every one of you hope you enjoy this video just kind of running through of some of the junk that i use and we will see you guys on the next video